So when creating hair colours for character creation, we want to use the character creation level. But to begin with, we can actually leave it unloaded while we're creating our hair colours. So first we want to go to the Create and View Resources, press Control and right click the two little teapots which says Character Visual and let's find a character with some hair. Okay, some character visuals will be no clothing so slight nudity. Okay, so we want this loaded so we can look at the hair colour as we update it. So let's go colour. In, in here. So right click and control this so get them gone. So we want to go into shared assets, characters, character header presets, hair colour presets, natural synthetic, which we want to use from there. Let's go with green, right click, recreate new from selected. Hair colour G4, just to make it unique so less chance of clashing with another mod. Green zero one, just in case I want to make several green hair colours. Now let's go for another one as well. Natural. Let's go for the blacks. Uh, create new from selected. G4 again. Black. Zero one. So now what we want to do is let's actually load both of them up already. Presets, her. P4, another reason to use a shorthand. Let's do the black one. Make sure that's ticked so it only uses the values from our preset. So now we've got this up, let's keep it pinned. So let's actually add a beard just so we can check it out. Okay, let's go with that one. So now we can test the beard color, beard color as well. So let's go for her colour. Let's make it more of a green. Okay. Let's make a new palette. Add that to it. Um, her scalp colour. Let's make that a slightly darker shade of that. Okay, well let's say we're happy with that one. Now we want to edit the green, green one. So we've got black green and now we've got green, green. So now we've got our hair colours ready and tested. So we're going to add them to character creation. So we want to go to here, our project, all the way down to character creation presets and then hair colours. So I'll pin this so it's easy to copy. Right click, copy quid, open our hair colour file, paste the material here. So that's the green one so we'll go with that for the icon. So when it's pinned that does actually get a little bit lost that view. So let's copy that one to here and we want that one to be that one. P4 uh, mm, dark 
just moss. And then just moss. Place that into here. And that one into here. So you do have to click and make sure it selects it on these ones. You can normally just click on these ones to copy them. Control C here and then paste it onto another one. But on these ones you have to click inside to copy. So let's load our CC level. So character creation system CC underscore I. And load the level. We can put that down a bit. Get rid of that. We don't use these in character creation, so let's put so hair colour. So as you can see, they show up as a default here. Yeah, there's a slight darker shade to my moss colour, which is what I would want. And then the darker green. So if we would go to dwarf, because they can have beards. Actually, let's make it. So show the body here. Her. Let's make that. That one. Facial her. Yeah, that one shows it off all right. Then you get the colour here. As you can see, it's a darker colour. And there it is. Your hair colours have been added to the game. Thank you for watching.